Hello everybody, I'm Raphael and welcome to Network Engineer Pro. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to configure an access control list on a VTY line. As you know, Telnet is not secure. SSH is the way when it comes to securely connecting to devices like routers and switches. If you aren't familiar with SSH or how to configure it, then check the description for a link to a tutorial video that I did for that protocol. Now, the problem is, is that with the minimum config required to get SSH configured, anyone who has IP reachability to that router or switch is going to be able to establish a connection. With a compromised account or credentials, a malicious attacker could potentially get in. In some production networks, it's common to have a security policy to only allow SSH to routers and switches from specific subnets, like a NOC subnet, for example. They obviously need access for remote management and troubleshooting purposes. No other subnet within the organization should be allowed to access those devices using SSH. So in this lab, I'm going to teach you how to configure an access control list on your VTY lines. This is going to allow you to control what networks are allowed to SSH to your devices. Let's get right into it. All right, so here's the topology for this lab. There's two endpoints and one router. The PC on the left is in the NOC subnet, which is 10.140.1.0/24, and the PC has IP.1, and the router's gig00 is going to be.254, and it's the gateway for that subnet. If you look on the right-hand side, we have the HR subnet. The HR subnet is 10.142.0/24. The HR PC has .1, and the gig01 interface on router R1 has .254, and it's the gateway for the subnet on the right. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, we're going to see our objective. Our objective states that only the NOC subnet, which is 10.140.1.0, should be allowed to SSH to the router. But we have some restrictions. Do not apply any ACL to gig0/0 or gig 0 slash 1. Get used to seeing restrictions, right, for certain things as you progress to the CCMP and even the CCIE level, especially the CCIE level. Learn that there's multiple ways to do the same thing. So yes, technically you can create an ACL that denies SSH and apply it inbound on gig 0 slash 0 and gig 0 slash 1. That would for sure meet the objective, but you would technically fail because you broke a restriction. I want you to be a Swiss army knife and know that there's usually more than one way to accomplish something. So for this lab, what's set up now is just basic IP addressing and SSH. But let's never assume, let's verify IP reachability and SSH ourselves. So on NOC PC1, which is on the left, I'm just going to ping across. I'm going to see if I can reach HR PC1. So ping 10.140.2.1. Okay, perfect. Let me test SSH. So SSH dash L, the username is going to be admin. What IP address am I going to SSH to? Let me try and SSH to the IP that's my default gateway. So 10.140.1.254. Great. I was prompted with a password. So the password is Cisco and I'm on router one. Let me exit. Let me make sure I can SSH to the other IP that 10.142.254. Okay, I was prompted with a password and I'm in. Let me exit. Let me verify from HRPC1. So I'm going to do SSH dash L admin and the IP that I want to SSH to is 10.140.2.254. Prompted with a password and I'm in. Let me test the other IP. And I'm in. Perfect. So there's full IP reachability and SSH works all around. So let's get started. We want to only allow the NOC subnet to SSH to the router. So let's go ahead and hop on the router. And I'm going to go, once I get in here, I'm going to go to config T. And we're going to create an extended ACL. So I'm going to say IP access list extended. And I'm just going to name it something simple, SSH access. Now let me go ahead and work on these access control entries. So what are we doing? We are only allowing the NOC subnet SSH access. That NOC subnet is 10.140.1.0 slash 24. So I'm going to say permit TCP 10.140.1.0 and it's a slash 24. So what's my wildcard mask going to be? My wildcard mask for slash 24 is 0.0.0.255. .0 and the destination is going to be any and equal to port 22, which is SSH. Now with access list, standard or extended, whatever, there's an implicit deny at the end. So what I want to do is I want to add a deny entry that logs all of the failures. So I'm going to say deny TCP any any, and I'm just going to add the word log at the end. So whenever HRPC1 tries to SSH and fails, I want the router to log it. 
So now that the ACL has been created, let's go ahead and apply it. And this is where I want to show you where you can apply it. So we're going to go to line VTY 0 through 15. Now these virtual terminal lines, these are used for, you know, incoming Telnet and SSH sessions. And this is where we're going to apply the ACL to. We're not going to apply it to the physical interface like gig 00 or gig 01. We are applying it directly on these virtual terminal lines. So now that I'm inside the line configuration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this ACL. I'm going to say access class and then the name of the ACL, right? You can use the number or the access list name and the name that we gave it was SSH dash access. And then if you hit question mark, it's going to want you to choose a direction. Is it going to be inbound or outbound? Since we want to only allow SSH connections inbound to the router, we're going to apply it inbound in and hit enter. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and test. Let's make sure that we can still SSH to the router from NOC PC one. So I'm going to SSH, by the way, these are actual, uh, routers acting as endpoints. So I just want you to know that. So SSH dash L admin, right? Admin's username. And this is the IP address that I want to SSH to. Perfect. I was given a prompt and I'm in the router router one. Let me exit and let me verify that the other IP address on router one, that 10.142.254, let me make sure I can SSH to that. Okay, and I can. I was given a password prompt and I'm in. Let me try from HRPC. This is the PC, this is the subnet that we don't want to allow SSH access to. So SSH, I'll just hit up arrow. And uh, sure, let's try 10.141.254. Look at that. You can see connection refused by remote host. Let me try the other IP address. Let me try 10.140.2.254. And that's my default gateway. So I can't SSH to them because it was refused. Let me make sure I can still ping. Okay, so ping's working, but SSH is not. So our ACL worked perfect. We have met our objectives. Only the NOC subnet should be allowed to SSH to the router. And we did not apply any ACLs to gig zero slash zero or gig zero slash one. Now some verifications that we can do on the router. Look, remember that log uh, entry that we did? This last one here, deny TCP any any log. We're getting logs. We're getting that SSH access denied TCP from 10.142.1, that's HRPC1 and we tried it twice and the log showed up. That's perfect, that's exactly what we wanna see. So if I do show access list, it's telling me that for the permit entry, the permit TCP, right? This is for that NOC subnet, we have four matches. And for the deny TCP any any, we have two matches. So everything is logging perfect. And let's say that you're trying to troubleshoot something and this, match numbers are super high, like hundreds or thousands. You wanted to clear them out. You can just do clear access list. If I can type right counters. And if you were to hit question mark, you could specify a particular access list, but this is going to do uh, all the access lists. So if I had access list with numbers or access list with names, it's going to clear the counters for everything. But if you wanted to do a specific ACL, you can. And that's about it. Like I said, we met our objective, only the NOC PC is allowed to SSH, and we didn't apply any sort of ACLs on the physical interfaces gig 00 or 0 slash 1. We applied it to the VTY line itself. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this lab and learned something. If you did, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on my latest video. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day and lab on.